morning everybody so it's 11 6 a.m. Sunday October 15th don't get excited I don't know why I know what day it is um, we picked up a bag of um, yarn that was being given away on our local buy nothing group it's in the back of the car it's mostly odds and ends and acrylics and that's fine I actually think I have and not an only enough yarn now with the giveaways and everything um, but enough variety of color to do some sort of scrap afghan so I think that's probably going to be a thing um, we dropped off an Amazon return and now we're headed over to go for a drive and just get out of the house a little bit we're going to drive over to Milwaukee Oregon Pendleton Woolen Mills which is Oregon based has a outlet store in Milwaukee which I've never been to known about for a long time so we're gonna head over that way I don't know what else is over there but I guess we'll find out we'll find out so I'll be back Coming out of the Portland Woolen Mill Outlet store. Um, I like the store. Be careful what you buy there because um, it's part regular retail, part outlet store. Um, that being said, they did have Cascade, Cascade yarns, Cascade, Cascade, and they had some really great wool and they were buy three, get one free. And I have a project um, in mind that I needed some colors for anyway, and so I was able to find them there. Um, so yeah, um, they had some really great prices on offcuts of fabric. Uh, I didn't buy any because I don't need it for anything. They also had some of their clothing and bags and stuff, um, which... I mean, I think the prices were the same as you find at the Pendleton store in the mall. Um, but they're beautiful, don't get me wrong. So anyway, we're gonna go find some place to have lunch and I'll be back. Hey guys, I would say good morning, but it's already almost 1.30, <laughs> Monday, October 16th. Um, I just got done editing the vlog. Um, so as soon as that's done rendering, we'll get it scheduled for Wednesday morning. I also am finally in months and months and months and months and months, I'm not exactly sure how long, I'm going to put some listings of merchandise in my Etsy store today. So I'm going to get that done. There's a video coming out regarding said merchandise on Saturday. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And turn on that notification bell so you don't miss it. And because I think it's a really cool idea. Um, and I'm already using it for more than originally intended. That's the only hint I'm going to give you. Anyway... While the computer's doing its thing, I'm gonna do dishes one more time. It's kind of the only thing I got done today besides video editing, which I just did just a minute ago, because it's just been uh, Monday morning. And yeah, so yeah. Anyway, I guess I better do the dishes and turn that on. Grab some more water, a snack, and get back upstairs. I'll be back. So we got most of the Halloween decorations up. Did we kind of just close our eyes and throw stuff in the yard? Maybe? Yes, so we did. Yeah, kind of. Anyway, I also got good progress on Mr. Sweater. I think I have about two inches more to go before we can start sectioning off for the armholes. And uh, I got a pair of white linen blend pants I bought when we were in California that are I wear like a size 10 and they're like a size 24, so big. They're huge. They're gigantic. Anyway, you I sat and, in yeah, together. together. I took them apart today because I'm gonna remake them into some 
overalls and then I'm gonna dye the fabric. Um, I'm gonna try to reuse the pockets that were already in the pants because I think that makes sense. So I got that ripped apart. Um, sorted through the yarn I was gifted via the Buy Nothing group and I already have plans for a little bit of it, so sorted it out into a project bag. Um, edited the vlog and I listed the project bags I just made in the Etsy shop. The listing is live. I only have six bags, that's it. And at the moment, no plans on making more, so there you have it. Put them all are hot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna go get some steps in and then have lunch. I mean, dinner. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have lunch here, I'm having dinner. And I'll be back. everybody it's Wednesday October 18th I think 9 43 a.m. brakes are cold and squeaky anyway we are headed out to run errands normal Wednesday routine and I've got a few errands I need to run crafty errands regular errands stuff like that so anyway I have a project I'm planning in my head. I'm waiting for parts to come in in the mail, but there's a few things I need to go pick up at Joanne's, so I'm gonna go do that. My hair is just doing, it's in its own world this morning. I don't know what to tell you, but I have my one of my sweaters on I made. I love this one and I love this pattern. It was very easy to do. And with the short sleeves, it took less than a thousand yards of yarn. It was like about eight or nine hundred yards um, for a medium and uh, yeah love it I will link the pattern down below if I can find the link um, it's knit with no seams it's all I mean it crocheted with no seams all in the round anyway adopted son Brian's birthday is this weekend and so we are celebrating at our house we're having Korean barbecue dinner night and we are um, planning a thing. Bob's ordered a couple gifts. Um, I need to go get a birthday card and a gift card. And uh, yeah, needed to get that done. So I think besides the crafty errands and checking the P.O. box, I think I'm gonna go to Target. I think should have everything else that I want. Watch now that I've said that they won't, but we'll see. All right. Let's go get it done, and then when we get back, we're gonna work on Mr. Sweater. We're ready to start sectioning off for working on the um, decreases for the armhole and the neckline, the front and back and all that. Um, and I haven't done this pattern before, so I need to focus and concentrate on what I'm do <laughs> doing to make sure I don't do, make any mistakes. Um, I don't think I filmed anything yesterday. I was babysitting most of the day. I did film a small clip, which if you've watched this, you've already watched that, of me doing some crocheting. And here's a picture of what I made right, right here. Um, so I was gifted via my local Buy Nothing groups. Um, now Buy Nothing is a fa our Facebook groups for your area. Um, they have different individual ones, depending on where you live. At least in the US, I don't know if they're international anyway uh so my local groups i found some people giving away yarn which i was granted and there were was this ball of this golden yellow color and then this other ball of a slightly thicker weight yarn uh, but both were bulky um in a rainbow so i put the two of them together to make sort of a scrap beanie um, i did the top of it in cluster stitch and um, the bottom in half double crochet and it turned out really cute. I just sort of winged it and uh, yeah, that was really fun 
not a huge hat wearer, which is funny because I keep making myself hats, so I don't know. Anyway. All right, enough chatting. Let's go get it done. I'll be back. Little chat while we're waiting in a stoplight. So I am gonna tell you guys, actually, before I even tell my husband. So I was using a diaper bag for a knitting bag, which actually worked out really well, um, but I didn't care for the fabric. It was like that slick, plasticky water resistant fabric, didn't like it. So I ended up returning it to Amazon. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought I want a Mary Poppins style carpet bag. And to get what I want, I'm gonna have to make it. And I don't know why I'm surprised. I'm not surprised. So I found a pattern online and then I went hunting for the metal frame that does the top of the bag and a tutorial for how to install said frame because I've never done that before. And I ordered all the parts I needed. I have some plain, thick canvas duck cloth in my stash. I have a piece of fabric that'll work great for the lining and I have some um, webbing for the handle that'll work great. So I am going to need something for corner accents because I'm not actually doing it out of carpet. Um, and I um, actually need serger thread. So we're going to pop in Joann's and see if they have something that will work. I could piece together some <coughs> scraps for the corner accents. I would really like to use like some wool or wool flannel. Um, we were at the Pendleton Wool Outlet store the other day and they had some wool I could have bought to use, but it was really expensive. And I can get it for, uh, it won't be Pendleton wool, but it'll still be wool or a wool blend for like half the price here at Joanne. So without a coupon. So I'm gonna do that instead. And I'm gonna do a 16 inch bag. And if that, I'm gonna make that work, but you could get the frame in a 20 inch frame. And if I really like the bag, will I make a bigger one? Maybe but that will be too heavy. And I also have to start like not carrying every single pattern around with me because I don't really need to do that. So yeah, I'll bring you along in my crochet bag, needlework bag journey. But I think this is a good way to do a bag. There's a million needlework bags out there, but I really want something that is cute, closes all the way, I don't need it to have a million pockets for crochet hooks or knitting needles because I have a really cute case for those. Um, I just need a bag that I can dump stuff in and go. And um, I think this is a good solution. So big surprise. I know all of you of an age out there can relate to this. He's going to be one of those toddlers that can be nearly falling over with their eyes half closed. They're so tired and yet they're telling you, no, I'm not tired. I don't want to go to sleep. It's going to be that one. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's babysitting day. Uh, I'm going to do some crocheting later as time will allow and I had a rough night last night. I had a reaction to something I ate or drank yesterday. Um, so I'm taking it easy on myself today. So, um, yeah, but I'm feeling better. So, anyway, uh, you know, it's just life. What can you say? I'll be back. I started a, like, <laughs> scrap granny square afghan last night. And I realized I want to do it in a less orderly way. So I'm going to be ripping the whole thing out and starting over again tonight. So when I get to that point, I'll share. Okay, I don't think I've vlogged today, but it is Friday, October 20th, I think. And it is, what time is it? 4.01 PM. 
Kids are coming over for dinner in a bit. We're celebrating adopted son Brian's birthday and we're gonna do Korean barbecue. I've been crocheting all day, working on my scrap yarn blanket, but also Mr. Bob's sweater. Um, I got everything done, the collar's on, all the threads are hidden. The only thing I have left to do is the sleeves. So that'll be this weekend's project. And I got the sewing pattern in for my dream crochet bag. And I'm waiting for one other part to come in, but I can start cutting and sewing that before the part comes in, but the part I think should be in tomorrow. Um, so as soon as I have some free time, a free day, I'm gonna be making myself a crochet bag. Um, anyway, I've gotta set out the charcuterie. We're ready with the birthday present. We're gonna do Korean barbecue, so that means we have to get the grill out, clear off the table, all the things for the things, because of the things. Open the door probably and get some air in the house. It is a little bit chilly outside, but it's not too bad and it's gonna get colder starting tomorrow. So I guess we should enjoy it while we can. Anyway, it's been fun not having to go anywhere today and just being able to sit and sort of listen to mindless YouTube. Usually I listen to Reddit stories or I watch Mike Holmes. Um, if you don't know who he is, he's a renovation guy. Um, or something like that while I'm crocheting or painting or something. And um, yeah, it was nice to be able to do that. And I can't wait till my bag is done because I can get rid of the, the pile, the unsightly pile. Anyway, all right, I think that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, family dinner night is over. Everybody's just gone home, it's eight o'clock. And uh, that went really well. Uh, happy birthday, Brian. Adopted son, Brian. He has, uh, we had a great evening. We're going to be doing something again on Sunday with him, which he doesn't know about. And before they all got here, my pattern for my dream crochet bag came in the mail. And I can't wait. I want to share it with you. So I already cut it out even before they got here. So I ordered the Bohemian Carpet Bag Pattern by So Liberated. There you go. It already is cut out and I have some fabric that I bought. I tried to buy in Virginia, but I couldn't find when I was there. And I found it um, when we got back and I don't think it's a pattern that's made anymore. Um, it's a Magnolia pattern by Michael Miller, I think. Um, anyway, I had just enough to do the lining of the bag. And um, I was a little worried about that because the pattern says a yard and a third. I only had a yard, but I made it work. So yay. Um, anyway, we'll be putting that together as soon as I have some free time. And I am waiting for the bag frame, so I don't have that yet. So anyway, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hey guys, so Bob's out for a walk. I am still having a few little digestive issues, nothing serious but yeah anyway mostly i just wanted to stay here and work on my bag i didn't film anything um hardly any of it because i just got in the zone and started making it i'm going to clean up my mess and i'll share with you what i did and the pattern and it's good that i didn't film it anyway the pattern's not mine um but i will show you and talk you through what i did um if you're interested in making um a custom bag like this I'm gonna share a video, a couple video links, but let me, we'll go there, but let me clean up my mess first. Cause yeah, th things are a little messy. I'll be back. Hey guys. So my dream needlework bag, crochet bag specifically, needed to be cute and functional. I don't need too many pockets. I needed to be able to take it with me, whether I'm flying or on a road trip or just driving two hours north to my dad's house. And I needed it to close securely and hold everything I needed. I had a diaper bag I was using and a diaper bag is a good option. You probably can find one at the thrift, but I know there's a million of them online. Um, but I didn't like the fabric. It was more like waterproof fabric. Now this one that I made, I am going to probably scotch guard it. I have some scotch guard downstairs, um, but that shouldn't do anything to the feel of the fabric. Um, and, um, uh, Sorry, putting some, something away. Um, and so that should work out just fine, but I used the, as I said before, the So Liberated Bohemian bag pattern. 
and it was fairly easy to use um, other than um, other than putting the metal tubular frame in, which there is a video tutorial I saw that they're using a totally different pattern, but she shows in detail how to put the tubular frame in. And that, without that video, I would never have figured it out. Um, so I'll link that video down below. Go show her channel some love. I decided to also add a zipper. So before I before we get there. So for the corners in the pattern, it has like leather on the corners. I decided to get this plaid. Um, this is like a wool or a brushed cotton, kind of feels like wool. I told you my art room is a mess, there's thread everywhere. Um, and I love this and I love the colors. It coordinates with the natural canvas I already had. I did put some stiffener in here in between the layers. I already had that. I already have the strapping, so and it's the same color as the canvas, so that worked. And on the inside, I have this cotton that was inspired, I said already, by our trip to Virginia. And I love the colors in it. And I wanted this plaid because it kind of coordinates with the colors of the magnolia. I know. Um, changes to the pattern. I didn't put any feet on the bottom, although it does have instructions for doing that. Wasn't too careful about lining up my seems you know it's not too bad um i made my pocket here a little longer so it can fit my cell phone which we're filming on so i can't show you and my wallet and then it has a zipper so if i am taking this say on an airplane or i'm running over to a yarn shop i can just shove my wallet and my car keys and my phone in there and then zip it up and we're good to go i also added on the inside a pocket some pockets on the inside um, to the inside lining and of course a label very proud of this project so I put a label um, before I sewed the to the casing for the tubular frame um, I put a zipper on here so that I can not only close it but I can ensure like if I'm on a plane and it's under the seat in front of me that that sucker's closed um, I could have made it stiffer so that it doesn't do that, but I, you know, I don't care. I left the ends of the zippers out and I just covered them with some of the same coordinating fabric. And there are also is instructions for creating a foam board for like the bottom of the bag. Now I had a scrap piece of MDF. I just covered that in fabric. That works fine. I have to also stop carrying every single pattern I have with me because number one, the bag gets heavy. Number two, I don't need to do that. So I am gonna need one extra binder for storing patterns, but I took one of the binders. It has the patterns I'm currently working on in it. We will seal it shut with an elastic band. Now I do use my patterns. I like printed patterns. At some point I could see me maybe sitting and creating a digital file of patterns. But that's a lot of work and remember i'm the lazy crafter so kind of doubt it anyway so we're going to take this and put this in here there's so much room in here um this is my tool bag so this has my crochet hooks scissors all my little notions so that's going to go in here there's so much room you guys amazing okay um i have two projects i'm working on one is a sweater for Bob and the yarn for that project and miscellaneous notes are in here. One is a granny square afghan. Yarn is in here, here's the project. Amazing. I mean, you guys. Um, here's Bob's sweater. I always have a couple balls of sock yarn um, in my bag. Uh, and I have a sweater I want to make for myself. That's pretty full, and I probably that's probably too much. But you guys, it holds it all and it's not too heavy. Holy cow. And I can zip it all the way shut. Guys, how cute is that? I can just carry it upstairs. I can carry it, put it in the car. You guys, 
I love it. I absolutely love it. So that is that. It's my extra sock yarn. I have an extra project bag. I may actually put that in here. And then if I finish something, I can put it in here. Or if I acquire yarn or something when we're out on the trip, I don't know. Anyway, again, there's probably too much stuff in here, but at the moment, that's as pared down as I can make it. But I love this bag. It's a great size. It's big enough, but it um, doesn't limit me. And um, oops, I forgot some notes and notions. Hold on. Okay, you guys. I love it. Uh, my custom-made knitting and crochet and or crochet bag. Now, you can buy a carpet bag like this, this size, smaller, bigger, but they run about 300 bucks. This cost me um, about $20 for the pattern. Um, was about $18 for the metal frame. And this fabric was um, $14. What else? Did I have to buy anything else for it? No, I had everything else. So um, even if you had to buy everything, you could probably make it for about $100 or less. That's a lot cheaper than uh, $300. And you could thrift the materials. Um, you could, uh, if you haven't joined your local Buy Nothing group, if you're in the US, I don't know if they're international or not, but um, if you're in the US and you have a local Buy Nothing group, or free cycle or Kijiji or like whatever. There's always people giving things away for free, especially arts and crafts stuff and sewing and knitting stuff because somebody's mom's passed away and nobody in the family does that craft anymore. So look around and see what you can use. Um, I am very, very pleased. My dream bag. I should have done this to begin with. Anyway, that's it for this minute. I'm gonna go downstairs now and relax. I have to do laundry. That's not really relaxing, but anyway, my bag is done. I might scotch guard it tomorrow. We'll see. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. I'll be back. Bob's paused the movie that he's watching. So I'll close the vlog now. I'm going to take the opportunity for there to be no noise. I am so happy with my bag. I did decide to scotch guard it. I've put two coats on it and it is um, drying right now in the laundry room. And I will load reload it with all my stuff tomorrow. I, I love the way it turned out. Kind of want to know if I should make another one. I shouldn't, but it, it was fun to make. Anyway, it's been a good week and, you know, I, as usual, I'm just following my creative instincts and wherever that journey wants to lead me. And, you know, uh, sometimes it leads me to places I expect and sometimes it doesn't. I, you know, it is what it is, right? Tomorrow we're going to drive to Wilsonville and do some stuff with the kids, but that's for next week's vlog. Anyway, I hope you guys have had a great week. I hope that your creative muse have, has given you some fun, interesting uh, inspiration or ways to go to experiment and try new things. And uh, if you have the instinct to do something, but you're not sure, just try it anyway. What's the worst that could happen? Try it. All right, that's it for this week. Leave questions, comments, or concerns down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Maybe turn on that bell notification, the bell icon down there for notifications on new videos. And um, all of the relevant links are going to be in the video description, including my uh, Patreon and all that stuff if you want to support the free content. And yeah, go out. Have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'm going to work on my scrap blanket. See you next week. Bye, guys.